Jake Durden couldn't get it done, could he? Jake Durden couldn't take the Classic Wrestling Championship from Iron Man Ken Casa, and I know that's something that just has to stick in the craw of the old promoter over there in SICW, Herb Simmons, because Herb Simmons has had this obsession with taking the Classic Wrestling title from around the waist of the Iron Man, and he's had some kind of sick obsession with running Travis Cook out of town, running me out of St. Louis, and he thought Jake Durden was the guy that could do both of those things Big, powerful, strong, athletic, has the Japanese wrestling experience. You thought he was the guy who was the ace in the hole. He was the ringer. And what happened? Twice you put him in the ring with Ken Casa, and twice Ken Casa beat him. One of those times in a best two out of three falls match, your kind of match, a traditional St. Louis kind of match, and you thought that would be the type of match that could defeat Ken Casa, take the belt from him. But you were wrong. And now Herb Simmons, dare I say it, I think you're a desperate man. I think you're making some desperate decisions at this point in time. You've done a couple of things lately. You've made a couple of decisions that reek of desperation. One of those decisions is that you've tapped Gary Jackson to have a championship match with Iron Man Ken Casa Saturday night, April the 26th in East Carondelet. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking because you're thinking for all of the positive attributes that Jake Durden had, the one thing he didn't have was experience. The one thing he did not have was a lot of years in the business and a lot of championship matches. So maybe he's not used to competing in that high strategic level environment of a title match, but Gary Jackson is. Jerry, Gary Jackson probably has more championship experience than anybody on your roster. He's been in more title matches in his illustrious career than anybody else you can come up with. And you think that's going to be the coup de grace for us. But what you don't understand is I'm sitting here, I'm standing here in the private training facility of Ken Casa. He's taking a break right now. He's about to get back at it. And Ken Casa's in the best shape of his life. As experienced as Gary Jackson is, as knowledgeable as Gary Jackson is, Ken Casa is one half step better in terms of cardiovascular conditioning. Ken Casa is one half step better in terms of strength. And Gary Jackson cannot compete with Ken Costa and Travis Cook in the mental side of the game. Two heads are better than one, and we got two brains like myself and Ken Casa. Gary Jackson can't stand up to it. And that brings me to the second desperate decision that Herb Simmons has recently made. And this one, I know, was directed right at me. Herb Simmons has made the statement that on May the 17th, in East Carondelet, Illinois, at the community center, at the house that Travis built. He's going to bring in none other than Bobby the Brain Heenan. Now, if this was just a situation where he was bringing in Bobby Heenan to sign some autographs and take some pictures and shake some hands, I wouldn't have any problem with it. I couldn't care less. But Herb, you made the statement recently that Bobby Heenan was going to come into St. Louis and show me how to be a manager. Really? That's what you think. What you've done by inserting Bobby Heenan into my business is that you facilitated a situation in which Bobby the Brain Heenan, with that great reputation that he's got, everybody in the wrestling business respects him. You've facilitated a situation in which he's going to come here to St. Louis and pass the torch to me. But he just doesn't realize it yet. You see, I'm a historian of the wrestling game, Herb. I know a little bit about this thing. And I know that Bobby Heenan's had this great career, dominant all kinds of places, the AWA, the WWF, etc. But there's one hole in Bobby Heenan's resume. Not too many people talk about it, but there's one hole in his resume. Bobby Heenan managed for years in St. Louis. Yeah, he gained a lot of notoriety here. But the one thing that Bobby Heenan could never do is when it came time for one of his men to wrestle for the Missouri State Championship over at Keele Auditorium, or to wrestle for the World's Heavyweight Championship over at Keele Auditorium, whether it was Lord Alfred Hayes or it was Blackjack Lonzo, whomever it was, whenever there was a title match, Bobby Heenan always came up just a little bit short. Bobby the Brain Heenan dominated a lot of places, but he never dominated St. Louis. He was a star here, he was successful here, but he never dominated St. Louis. And you know, and I know, and everybody knows St. Louis is the measuring stick of professional wrestling. It's the crown jewel in the business. Well, look at the other side of the ledger. Travis Cook has dominated St. Louis. Travis Cook, when it comes time for a championship match for the top title in the area today, which is the Classic Wrestling Championship, 
I came through. Ken Casa won the championship. We've kept the championship. Nobody's been able to touch us. And so now Bobby Heenan's going to come here one more time to St. Louis and try to overcome that one hurdle he never could get past back when he was a full-time manager. He never dominated St. Louis the way he did everywhere else. So now he's going to come in to my town, and he's going to try and take St. Louis from me. He's going to try and get one up on, dare I say it, the king of St. Louis? No, sir. And now that you've interjected yourself or you've allowed Herb Simmons to interject you into my business, I hate to say it, I am going to have to take the torch from you. I am going to have to take the title from you of greatest manager in professional wrestling. I didn't want to have to do it this way, but if that's how it's got to be, so be it. So May the 17th, Bobby the Brain Heenan, with your international reputation, with your worldwide reputation and whatever else, you still have to come out here and outsmart me, Travis Cook, in my town, in my city, the city that I control. Nobody's done it yet, and you certainly won't do it now. And April the 26th, Gary Jackson, you think you're the ace in the hole for Herb Simmons. You think you're going to take Ken Costa's title. We're going to make a fool out of you, too. So wrestling fans have two opportunities to see wrestling history made in East Carondelet. April 26th, you can come out and see Ken Casa take out the last challenger that Herb Simmons can come up with. And on May the 17th, come back out to East Carondelet, and you watch me, Travis Cook, take the illustrious title of greatest manager in professional wrestling away from Bobby the Brain Heenan. Pal, you're passing the torch to me whether you realize it or not.